What's up, what's up? It's a new day. I've got a new list of things to do and even better, I got a new camera so I can bring you along easier. If you guys saw my last video, you will know that I am currently in the process of building out some booths for a restaurant and I'm gonna deliver some in a couple days, at least part of the project. And in order to do that, I gotta borrow a friend's trailer. So I'm gonna head over there first thing today, grab that trailer, that way I can have room to load up all the stuff. Here we go. I've actually got a couple of errands to run today. Like I said, first one's gonna be picking up this trailer, but I wanna pick up the spring clamp for the camera. And I've got a little ball head mount that I'm gonna mount on that. So that's cool. I just set this off to record from my phone while I'm sitting at a red light. <laughs> Obviously, you're not supposed to look at your phone while driving, but if you're operating a camera at the same time as you're driving, it's much safer to look at your phone than it is to look at the camera. <laughs> Vlogging. like that. I've got myself a trailer. Oh, oh. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you, Kelly. If you guys don't have friends like Jeff and Kelly, you need to get you some. So in addition to picking up the spring clamp that I was going to get, my wife texted me a picture of a broken sprinkler head thing that I got to get. So I'm going to get one of those also. I'm finally here. I swear it's not even that far away. And sometimes I feel like I spend half the day driving around town just running errands. I'm going to run in and get what I need. Almost forgot my mask. Not like I'm gonna wear it. Just like I thought, didn't need my mask. I got what I needed to get and now I'm headed back home, probably to drink some cactus cooler or ginger ale. And <laughs> get back to work. Why did I leave that there when it needs to go over here? I gotta open my garage door because this piece won't fit with the garage door closed. So this particular section of booth has two pieces to it and the other side will get bolted to it so it makes a long like 10 foot section. And what I'm doing with these strips of plywood is I'm gonna make a curve along the back side because this booth is gonna go up against a wall that has a slight curve to it. So you can see I've clamped it to one of the other boards and now it follows a curve and that's gonna be my shape that follows the wall. And I just need to replicate that piece at the top and then recreate that on the second piece of the booth. So these are the little insert blocks that I made and these are going to go between the curved piece of the plywood and the frame of the booth. And one side of these blocks has a little tiny beveled cut, probably about two degrees, and that's going to help to keep this curved formation on the back side of the booth.
So that was cool. I got this section of the curve done and I got to do it on the other booth. What? What? You want to see it in slow motion? Done. Now that I got the curve mounted to the back of this booth, I've got to make the seat back right here where the seat back cushion is going to go. And I've also got to cut out a piece that is going to be for the seat cushion. That's not super interesting to watch, so I'm going to just let Des do another coat of the armor seal on one of the other booth sections that's finished while I cut out these pieces. So these pieces of plywood are going to be the seats for these booths. I'm just taking them inside now so that Des can put the cushions on them. Des inside putting finish on the booths that have already been built and I've had Des helping me with the cushions. When I say helping me, I mean actually doing it all herself because that's what she does. She's awesome. And I've been out here prepping the wood for this side of the booth and I can finally attach these slats to this side and now we're going to see this side of the booth take shape. You guys, I think this is a good spot to end this video. I hope you guys like seeing the progress of this project come along. If you did, give the video a thumbs up. And if you want to see more progress on this particular project, I hope you'll subscribe. And when this project is all done, I'll have more projects. So if you want to see more of that, hit the subscribe button. That way you'll always know when I got a new video out. Also, be sure to follow me over on Instagram at Stuff Seth Makes, and I'll have links down in the description to any of the products I might have used in this video. Also, if you wanna start following somebody else, you can follow my wife, What's Up In The Garden. I'll have a link down to her channel in the description as well. We're just getting that channel off the ground, so give us some time while we get some content going. But go over there, subscribe, show her some love, and I will see you guys on the next video.